What's up everybody? It's David here at Smitty's Garage coming at y'all with another banger, another fun day, another little adventure. Probably not an adventure, guys. Just a continuous of what we've been working on. But uh just think about that sunset there. At 5.30? Man, I can't even get up here and work on my truck because it's getting dark so early. Let's get in there and see what we got. Well, let's try to finish up on this whole thing here, on this install. So, you know, we talked about this right there, and that's okay. But I ran into it, and, and we talked about I need to drill this out. But there's one more thing we got to do, guys. And we've got to build a spacer for this. Because, sure... The kits come with a spacer and all of that, but that's going to leave us short of what we need. So let me get these up in here and measure what we're going to need. All right, y'all got the... <coughs> Pardon my homemade measuring utensil right here, but that's okay. So, yeah, pretty much I need to make a double one of these. That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, a dollar fifty something special from Lowe's. Let me cut it out. Well, I'm not going to win no beauty pageant with it, but I do believe it's going to work. Oh, yeah, this right here. When we did these, we cut them at four inches. I did have to come back and reformulate them, you know, bring them down. Um, three inches. You got an inch and a half out from here back, and then an inch and a half that way. So, let's put this bad boy on and let's just see how everything's going to work. That's putting that about right there. Mm, let me take a peep. That's this end right here. Let me put a little love juice on there, guys. Help this go on a little better. Well, all I did was eyeball it, but I guess y'all see what I need to do. I need to take about an eighth of an inch off of it. Let's get that done. How's that, guys? Not bad for some eyeballing. God, a fuel line. We're flat. I mean, we're, we're flat there. We're flat there. Sweet. Let's get to putting it all together the rest of the way. So I got the belt on. That was real easy, guys. You just put it over this pulley. And then this gets a little tight, so if you just kind of squeeze it, it prolongs it a little bit. Now we're going to drill that out to match the boat. I believe that'll work. Just a little bit too big, but hey, it's okay. Now the part I don't like about this is because we're offset it right here, that took some of the shaft away. So that means that key is only on our shaft. Um, half an inch. Uh, well, hey, it's going to have to work, right, guys? All right, let's finish buttoning it up. Oh, yeah. Dumb me didn't get the long boats. So I'll get back once I get the longer boat. Duh. All right, guys. Also, pre-check your stuff, guys. Just because you get it put together don't mean they did. Pre-check your stuff. we got to tighten that up. I mean, in all seriousness, guys, 30 minutes. Already dark. 
This, this ain't the same hour that I turned my clocks back on. I'm telling you right now. But look what I get to catch, though. Y'all see it coming over the ridge line? Beautiful, ain't it? Beautiful. Well, I've tried every boat that I have, every combination, standard and metric, and the best I'm able to come up with, and it doesn't quite fit. This is a 7 16 by 14. So I'm cleaning them threads out, retapping it, and then I will move forward. Not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet, but it's been a booger. It was caked up bad, guys, but I'm going to get it tapped out to accept the boat, and then I'll be able to boat everything up on there. At least that's the plan. We'll see. Not bad if I must for a home brew. And guys, it is a home brew. I took in some all thread and put in there. Kind of Loctited it. And put a lock nut. A little Loctite on there. Is it perfect? Nah. But guys, I just want to be honest with y'all. Because I've received some pretty nasty comments and stuff like that. That that's not how that's done. I could do this in a lot quicker. Okay, cool. Thumbs up, buddy. I'm happy for you. Really, not once have I ever claimed to be textbook. You know, hey, I just come out here in my shop and, and I just explore. You know, I have fun. I work with things. And if it ain't for you, that's fine. But it may be for somebody, guys, you know. Come on, man. Come on. So really and truly, we're at the moment we all been waiting for. And guys, you can tell I'm already ready. Let's yank this motor off of here. Let this get this one on there. And then we're going to have to try to line it up for the chain, which, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to take that crap off. Or I can just break the link. Either way. Let's get this on that. Well, guys, what do y'all think? Now, bear in mind, I do got a cover. What do y'all think? Um, if I come back too much more, then I'm really going to run into an issue with the spark plug and have a very hard time gassing that up. But I think I got this lined up. I mean, pretty darn good. Now, I might be able to go just a hair more to the right. My right, so the right that you're at, you're right. But, I'm going to have to mark and drill holes in this plate. But, I'm just looking at it. I would really like to come back another uh, half inch. I just don't know, you know. I guess it's possible. Let me move it back another half inch, guys. And then I'll bring you back. Oh, yeah, guys. I'm liking that much better. I came back another inch. Heck with a half inch. I went an inch, guys. We're almost at the end of this plate. My main thing is, is it, it looks funky. But, guys, the frame is stretched eight inches. So, if I put the motor in the original spot then all that weights on my front tire and that's just not what i'm wanting i'm going to be back here and i, I kind of want that motor in line with my weight distribution you know i'll be on the seat to the pegs not so much up here on the bars but this line is going to be my weight distribution so i'm wanting the motor in line with my weight distribution and guys i'm digging that i'm digging that let's see how i got this chain lined up i got it actually better guys what y'all think about that that is dead nut now i got a kink in this chain i know y'all see it about halfway but um i just need to measure this chain and cut it out you know and put the master link back in it and that's going to be 
pretty much good there. Uh, I need to get me some of these right here. I think there's one on this side, but I need to get some. That way I can adjust my tension. These are pennies on the dollar. But as far as the motor goes, I think that's going to be it. Let's slide the cover on and take a peep. Yeah, it's going to be all right. You know, that'll protect your, your pants leg and stuff from getting in there. We will have to do a modification right there, but that's no big deal. We'll just cut a channel out. Which reminds me of a modification. One that I didn't get to show you because, hey, it got cut out when I absolutely deleted my footage. Which is this right here. As y'all can see, I had to cut a channel out to a lot for this boat because... Otherwise, the torque converter was going to sit very, very down, and I wanted it to kind of be level. So, I mean, I think this is going to work, guys. I really do. I just think this is going to work. So, next time I bring y'all aboard, it's getting kind of late today. We're fixing to head in. Start whipping up a little sup here. But when I bring y'all on, we'll be marking these holes on here and um, getting it getting it lined out. And guess what, guys? Uh, I've even got a brake cable for it. So, well, I'll be. Let's take a quick little break, and y'all won't notice it, but I'll be back shortly. Got a little cold out here this morning. I guess we wrapped up that skirting on the house. Had a good time out here working in my shop today. Had to light my heater. I was just about 10 15 minutes. It would be nice and warm in here. I could turn that off. I think I need to take a break from this. Had somebody bring me, you know, had a bad gas leak and um, can't get it running real well. I mean, I got the gas leak took care of, but the getting running real well, not so much. I've got it to run, but not stay running. As y'all can tell, I really just dislike small engines like that. I just buy another one when they mess up. But let's, let's take a break from this thing. And let's come on this. As y'all can see, I've started marking my holes. I hope I can see this pencil marker. I've got this hole and those other two. If I choose to do the fourth one, we'll just measure it. So I'm gonna pull this motor, see if I can't see my holes so I can drill them out. I don't know if y'all can see it, but two of them took. There's one pencil mark. There's the other. Thankfully, I. I scribed the edge of the motor so I could just take a measurement now and do this. I don't know. Maybe. It's ugly. But let's see. Not bad for a half-ass measure. I do still got a little wiggle room in it to make sure that it is straight. Huh. Now, I didn't do all that, you know. Actually, I put this plate in, but I didn't do the extension. But we're working with what we have. Yeah, let's put that chain on and straighten it out now. Well, you ever done something you ain't proud of? <laughs> yeah, that's it. But anyway, moving forward. Got a boat there. Boat there and boat there. These two right here on this side. Ooh, I'm going to hate if I ever have to pull them out. But hey, let's move forward. As far as this goes, I'm actually okay with it. However, when you look at the big picture, it looks like this back wheel is kind of kicked a little bit to the right. So when I angle it some to the left, that should take that out of there. So, the motor's mounted. 
I'm not going to be able to use this throttle cable right here. I have to do something else for a throttle situation. I need this flexible cable that I can use on my handle, but I have got to adapt it to this right here. Thinking about that. I can, however, go ahead and hook up my kill switch and get it on the motor. Let's do that. So, I mean, I got my wires coming down, got my ground here, and got this one going up into the coil. So, let's test for spark, guys. I'm going to position y'all, yeah, on my tripod, right up on that plug, and we're going to test for spark. On this switch right here, I know what it says, but it's backwards. That's going to be on. That's going to be off. That's with all of these when you're using them for spark control. All right, I got y'all zoomed in pretty good. I got it in the keel position, off position. So let's see if we have spark. I don't see any, do y'all? All right, now let's put it in the on position, run. Which on that handle it says off, but y'all, oh, y'all discussed that. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to put it back in keel and off. No spark, back and run. That's got a heck of a spark. All right, we're going to kill it one more time. Okay, cool. That'll work, guys. That's gonna work out great. Huh, so I reckon the next thing for me to do is this chain situation. I need to mark my chain, cut it and put it back together. But guys, honestly, it's getting to be about sandwich time. And I still ain't messed with that again. So, but hey guys, when we get back, that's what we're going to be doing. Chain. Well guys, I cut the chain. I was actually fixing to go eat my sandwich. And then I just got a wild hair. Pulled my chain breaker out. That's how much chain I cut. But I was just looking at my parts wall and I found something. So anyway, that's where this is coming in. So, I really want my sandwich. Let me get this put on real quick. It's going to bug me if I don't. Man, an old boy just don't know when to quit. This chain's a little tight. But I know it's going to loosen up. I squirted a bunch of WD-40 on that old rusty thing. Looking good right here. Looking good. And... Rose. Oh man, y'all know what I want to do, but I want to eat my sandwich. Just a few more minutes. Let's do it. Let's fire it up and see how this torque converter works. Well, guys, I just don't know. Um, I'm getting spark. I'm getting fuel, but I'm not getting it to start. So, maybe it's saying, not today, Bubba. All we can do is keep playing with it. Kind of disappointed, you know. We're right there. I mean, we're, we're right there, guys. So, the only thing we can do is just kind of keep playing with it. I don't know if maybe it being tipped on its side for a long time. While I was doing that tour converter install, if that kind of washed out some oil or... I don't know, guys. I'll just keep playing with it. When I get it to bust off, I'll come back with you. We're pretty close, guys. We're pretty close. One more thing. And I may go ahead and do this kind of off camera. As we got that guard. Remember? Remember we put it on... Well, I've kind of loosely 
marked what I need to cut out. So I'm probably going to cut this out off camera so that it can go on when that time comes. Um, I'm getting fuel to the carburetor. I pulled the plug out and I'm getting fuel. Yes, the valve is off because I just turned it off. I even sprayed some ether up in the carburetor and I couldn't get it to bust off, which is weird to me because I got really strong spark. So, uh, yeah, let me keep playing with it and I'll come back with you. All right, guys, I don't know if y'all can see it right there, but I believe I got a stuck exhaust valve. I'm not seeing it going up and down like it should. Now, I know my intake is working and the piston because I have looked up in there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, y'all can see right there. Y'all can see. Let me try to switch hands. Okay, y'all see at the bottom left, that's the intake valve. So she's coming up and down. Then when you get right in there. All right, I can see the piston now. Piston's moving. So, yep. I'm going to have to pull the head and uh, do that. But it is sandwich time. We've wasted long enough. Yep, guys, it's stuck. Let's see if we can't get it to come loose. Yeah, guys, I've got a stuck exhaust valve. Actually, I think I got a bent exhaust valve. And, you know, once it's up, I can tap it and make it come down. Who knows? Maybe it'll be bird. I don't know. But. I'm pretty sure. I just don't want to do this on this episode. Quite frankly. I think I just want to close that up. Do that on its own. Really this was about a torque converter install. Unfortunately I just hadn't been able to. Uh run it but that's what it looks like with the uh cover got it mounted up got the bolts let me pull that cover off y'all take a peek one more time there we go when you're putting your torque converter on make sure the angled side faces out the flat faces the engine so guys i'm pretty happy with this uh with this setup obviously i've got a new problem right now but that's just something for you know me to find a solution to i mean that's what problems are for problems arise so solutions can happen i'm just um there we go Got that cut out. <coughs> kind of a bummer ending. But you know what it is, what it is, guys. We did a lot. We finished up the torque converter install. We got the wheel and chain lined up. We got the motor onto the, uh, onto the bike. Got the kill switch on. We've done a lot, so... Um, when it when I went to go start it and it backfired out the out the exhaust, I went wait a minute, I got a problem. Just a real quick investigation and I seen what it is. But I know guys, I know, kind of is what it is. Well, guys, ain't this thing cool? I mean, no, it didn't run, but pretty cool, man. That motor wasn't supposed to take no torque converter, but we figured a way to make it happen. And everything else looks clean. The chain's straight. The wheel's straight. We just, now we got a bent valve. And I think I know why and how that valve got bent. I've been playing with uh, different mufflers, you know, the screw-in kind. And I'm more than willing to bet that one of them got screwed in a little 
too far. But hey, guys, um, I'll uh, we'll pop that head, try to pop that valve out of there, and see if we can't get it to be a little smoother. If not, we'd be looking for a valve. Anyway, guys, that's a whole another thing. Whole another thing. Guys, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Comment, subscribe, share. Do all that if you want to. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody that's given kind words, that encourages me. Thank you for those that are still watching. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, guys. We'd love to have you over here. From David here at Smitty's Garage, guys, and from this old Baja Beast Warrior. Peace. We're out.